You can be resting at the beach and using Google Assistant, you can cool the office so it'll be ready when you get back. And while you're at it, you can text someone that you're running a little late. I'll show you how to do this and a lot more for I am the high tech nomad. Hi, I'm Mormon Beckles. Welcome to another video. Like all my videos on this channel, I'm going to cover the basics as well as tips and tricks so you can learn how to make this technology work for you. The first thing we have to do is set the watch so it can use Google Assistant. And we do that by going into settings, going to apps, click on choose default app, and you'll see digital assistant. Give that a click, and you'll be presented with three choices. Click on assistant. It'll then say that it needs to access some other features of the watch. You have a choice of how you want to interact with Google Assistant. One is by saying a wake up word. The second is by pushing and holding a button. I prefer the button method. We're gonna set that now. To do that, go into settings, go to general, scroll down and customize keys, press and hold, and click on Assistant. Google Assistant is now ready to go. To turn a light on and off, you need to have smart lights and switches configured in your home. I use Samsung's smart things to control my lights. Here's how to connect Samsung's smart thing to Google Assistant. To connect smart things to Google Assistant, you're going to need to go into smart things, then click on your menu button, voice assist, and you'll see a list of different voice assisting programs that you can connect to. As you can see from mine, I already have Google Assist connected. You would click on that. It would just ask you to verify your username and password. And that connection has now been made. With that connection, we now can control all of the devices that Samsung's SmartThings offers. Turn on desk lamp. Okay. Turning on the desk lamp. Need to find a bank, restaurant, gas station, or restroom? You can do that by pushing the button. Where is the nearest bank? I found a few banks near you. Your watch will display a little map along with all of the locations. Select a location and it will go into map mode and direct you right to that location. And if you're a sports fan, you can check on scores and schedules. When is the next Celtics game? Last Thursday, the Celtics played the Warriors. Sending a text message or email is easy to do. Send a text message to Al Kramer. Got it. What's the message? Just doing a test. I'll call you in a few minutes. Send. Reminders are easy. Remind me tomorrow at 10 a.m. Okay. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. What's the reminder? Dentist appointment. I'll remind you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Google Assistant can also help you remember things. Remember my bike code is 114. Okay. I'll remember that. What's the combination to my luggage? I remember you told me. That's just a few of the many commands. There are hundreds. I've compiled a list of the most useful to have, and I'll put a link down below. Here's that special command I promised to show that I haven't seen demonstrated in any other video. Play charade on Netflix on Google TV. Marlon, if you don't stop following me, I'll call the police. Taxi!
Just add a Google TV adapter and your Netflix subscription to your TV and you're good to go. Join our other members in supporting the channel and get access to exclusive videos. If you liked some of the watch bands and watch faces that you saw, check out the video I did on customizing a Galaxy Watch 4. Until the next time, this is Ormond Beckles, aka the High Tech Nomad, signing out.